Okay, in this tutorial, we'll continue working with soft body physics, and we're going to do a lesson using these on different layers. In case you haven't seen it, I've done a similar lesson, but I remember I left one detail out of an earlier lesson, so I thought I'd repeat it here anyway. So in this case, I'm going to turn these into soft body physics real quick, so we can zoom along now since we know what we're doing. I'll just give that one a group and make it 0.1 and assign it, and then same with this one. and assign that one to. All right, so now they both have that, and then I'm gonna go over and make them soft bodies. Just, this is good practice anyway, so you just watch me wing through it here. I grab the group, get the edges on that one, I'll give it stiff quads, don't make it pull, and maybe crank this up a little bit like this. And then I'll do the same thing with this here. and get this group like that. All right, so now they have soft bodies. On. Let's press Alt A, see what happens. Yep, they're both going through the plane, so got I can't forget that needs a collision plane, that needs a collision plane, that needs collision on it as well. And so they're not gonna add a wind object to the scene. I'm gonna press Shift A, get a force field wind, RX, just turn it in here like this. Before I do anything, I'm going to take this one, I'm going to move it to layer 2, M2, press 2, and then I'm going to bring layer 2 back in like this. And I'm going to run Alt-A. They're both falling down in the scene. Why are they going through? They should be going through. I swear I put that in there, collision. Well, that one is, that's on layer 1, that's on layer 2, that's on layer 1. That sh That can't go through. That's impossible. Collision, collision. What's it thinking? Oh, it's not going through. It just doesn't have, it's It's not stiff enough. All right, better give it stiff quads as well. All right, let's try it now. All right, yeah, in this case, so this kind of points out from like the previous lesson where I was showing you where we we're animating the scene in reverse is that there is no you know it's like remember soft bodies are based on springs and if you look at this sphere there's no springs holding it up in the center so you have to change the weights of these like this or there's a trick you can do over in here you can grab this in this bending you can crank up the bending a little bit like this I've showed this in a previous video and then it actually works kind of as a similar way. It's as as it's it's making it stiff in a different way. I don't know why it works, but it does work. So I've tried it before. All right, so I know it works. But the other one's going right through the plane, and that's because this plane's on a different layer, and this it's not not being affected by the wind. So I'm going to do Shift D X, make another copy of this wind over here. I'm going to press U, make it a separate object in R Z. I'm going to rotate it a little bit this way, and this one I'm going to rotate a little bit this way, like this. And then I'm going to put this wind over on layer 2, M2, like that. Well, nothing's going to prevent it from crashing through still. They're, they're going to start going in different directions. But So the way you have to fix it is you just make a separate copy of this object. I just press Shift D and click right into place, and then I press M2 and move that to a separate layer. So now they're both on separate layers. There are two objects in the same place on separate layers. And if you wanted to collide them into a wall, you'd have to do the same thing. You'd have to have two walls in the same location on two different layers, one for each one. All right, so now let's run the animation. And you'll see, maybe we'll see it from this side over here. You can see simulations take a long time. Oh, and I see this one, so we're not going to be able to tell yet because they didn't put any bending in this one. All right, now let's run it. But now it should not, both of them should, yep. Neither of them go through, and let's see if they're, this should be blowing this one that way, and this should be blowing this one that way. So they should essentially cross, but they're not gonna be able to collide with each other as well, because that's an issue in the sense that since they're not on the same layer, Then they can't do it. And unlike rigid bodies, I did uh, 
uh, a tutorial that showed you can you know you can weigh you can make them collide and you can also put them in different collision groups and that really helps a lot and with soft bodies actually I haven't looked at it lately you never know with blender they upgrade it so frequently and make so, so many different things I'll have to see if there's the equivalent of putting these in the same groups and having the wind affected but in previous versions I know you weren't able to do it but you can see how slow soft body physics can be. I'm just trying to turn it around so I can see the spinner. Well, you just have to take my word for it that they are actually going towards each other because they are. And that's because they're on separate layers. So, all right. And then, um, and from that previous lesson, you notice when I was working in reverse with that animation, that I could have reduced some of the friction on the ground with the objects so it didn't appear like it was being contorted by the ground, which it was slightly. Because if you try and key, if you were to try and keyframe the soft body, it doesn't work. The, it gets overridden by that uh, by the soft body simulation. Okay, well that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.